Well, innovation certainly continues and there's a really great project currently underway in the mother city that aims to transform underutilized areas such as unused parking bays and alleyways into public spaces. And our very own Graham Richards paid it a visit at the v &A. I think for most of us, public spaces are simply just a spot to chill after a long day's work, maybe some heavy shopping, or a place to take in some of this very Instagram-worthy scenery. But in Cape Town, we are seeing underutilized spaces constantly being reimagined and transformed. Now, I'm here at the V&A waterfront at the public space to find out a little bit more about this growing trend. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Jacques, great to meet you. Thanks for coming out to explain this new trend for me. I've, I've seen a couple of public spaces, been dying to find out what's going on. You can see I'm already stimulated by this, already got my phone out. But when we talk about these urban intervention projects, what are they actually all about? What's the motivation? So the parklets are an urban intervention and really what, what it's all focused about is how do we make a urban acupuncture or urban intervention into a space? which is what is the catalytic change making thing that you can do that people will think about a space differently, go well, oh, I can walk here, I can sit here, I can meet new people here. And for us, that's really what an urban intervention is to get you to think a little bit differently about the city you live in. I would imagine also a great opportunity to learn about the human condition, each one completely different, the space very unique. How did this particular parklet come about? It's, it's quite a beautiful boulevard, you can probably see it in the background, but it's really about saying, how do we add on to what the VNA is already doing, which is saying, live your life in our city, live your life in the harbour, Cape Town's a harbour city, yeah. and how do people really start to kind of connect, meet new people, and, and have more human interactions and have more fun in the city. I know this isn't your first project. What other ones have really stood out for you? Uh, well, they certainly are different. This is our fourth project. The first one we did was the revamp of an urban park in Greenpoint. For us, we, we haven't yet really appreciated the value of living next to a park. Yeah. If we look at most modern cities, living next to a park in any amazing density is like, it's a relief. It's about green space. It's about family. It's about pets. It's about them having ownership. And what we see there, they have birthday parties in the park now. All the nannies are kind of spending their afternoons and lunches in there. And then you see cheeky mimosas on Sundays, you know, and it's from a park that no one used to use. And that's the purpose of the intervention is to get you to think about it differently and give you permission to try and say, I'm actually going to use this because it's part of my city and we all need to own our cities quite a lot better. Now I've got to ask this, and this is more from a personal perspective. What is the weirdest thing or the coolest thing that you've learned through this journey? Uh, when it was in Seapoint, our offices were around the corner, and there was just some incredible old woman who the parklet became part of their life. You know, they would sit on the way with their shopping. It was a place to rest, a place to meet up with their friends, and it's. It's the people on the edges that are going to fill the city with life and laughter and care. And so meeting some of them and spending time with them was definitely the highlight of the parklet. Rashik, great to meet you. Great to get a window into this incredibly innovative public space. As future Cape Town, what drew you to this project? I know you've got a couple on the ground at the moment. Well, in South African cities and in cities around the world, we're rethinking why our city is based around driving a car and parking and uh, our roads and parking bays are actually public spaces so this particular parklet challenges what we should be doing in those parking bays and i think it's it's a provocative sort of challenge to say how could we use it differently could it be used by people who cycle or walk or are actually using a high street so i think this project embodies those sort of principles and of course i think people forget that these urban spaces this is where we need our creativity and stimulation. This is where our thinking must happen. Yeah. What informs the design, the, the creativity of each space? With this particular park, we invited designers to a design competition, and we selected GAP architects and urban designers, and they took a few things into consideration. If you recall, the park was originally on a main road, Regent Road in Seapoint. Yeah. So safety is very important. There needs to be a barrier with the road. Uh, we wanted flexible seating, so people don't always want to sit together. So the seating on the park can be moved around. We wanted some bike parking for people who do want to park their bicycles and don't want to drive around. And uh, we also included free Wi-Fi. So I think we wanted the most sort of multifunctional space. It could be an outdoor, indoor office, but essentially it's, it's, it's public space that welcomes people of all walks of life uh, across Cape Town. What has the response been to the public space? It's the best way to promote social cohesion. And we were really surprised by the results. Sometimes up to 200 people a day using this space. Um, you have public school kids, private school kids, um, you have the really elderly, the really young. Um, once we saw a mom and the kids using the space at night to use the Wi-Fi sort of after 10 p.m. And traditionally, you know, our public spaces aren't considered to be safe at all hours. So I think we're very surprised by the sort of overwhelmingly 
positive ideal world is created around cohesion, around diversity. And I think in Seapoint at least, it really showed the mix of people living there and working there. And the parklet was just one part of sort of illustrating that. I love my city. I love this project. Thank you for all of your efforts. This really is something cool and completely Thank innovative. You very Thank you for this, man. Well done, bro. It's so cool. A perfect place for little old ladies to catch their breath after a long shop or a long walk. Somewhere where you can connect with your friends or have a little me time to just breathe it all in and connect to free Wi-Fi. But I think most importantly, it's about something much bigger. It's about reconnecting with and reclaiming our urban spaces. Why? Because this is our city.